welcome back. Uh, before Gachuka joins us, we'll just share with you what we found in the news. Isi, would you like to go first? Absolutely. Um, what we found in news, this was coming from Punch newspaper. It says, Jam suspends national identification number for um, um, for um, writing the, the entry exams of UTME and direct entry registrations. Basically, this was said by um, the Jam registrar, Ishak. Oloye Day, and this is for 2020. This has been um, suspended for 2020, but it will start again on the in 2021. Why, why is this the case? What's the important? What's the point? Um, this is because they want a situation whereby um, the government, or sorry, the people or the candidates will not be put under so much duress for them to write the DTME or the direct entry exams, and this is as a result of the fact. This is a result of the fact that they had technical issues currently. That was what Ishak said. Now, secondly, next year, 2021, it will not be the case because probably by then the um, what's it called the national the national, national it, it would have been recovered it would, it would have been resolved by then basically that's it in a nutshell. Hopefully, yes. My, my, my issue is um, why do we even need it in the first place? And uh, uh, backstage, it already is to curb the fact that there ha right. there are so many but, um, what's it called exam practices. practices. Oh, so so absolutely fine. yes. Yeah. So why can they do it in tranches? Why do we have to do it all at once? It could have been done over an extended period of about three years, mm. you know? Why does it have to be now? And do you know what those children... You know, sorry. Anyways. Those candidates. candidates. <laughs> 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 Nigeria, we, you know, we just, like you said, we like to fire fights, mm. but we will come, we'll discuss that off air. Do you mm. want to tell us what you found in the news today? Lana? Okay. Hmm. This is interesting because it is debatable. Okay. Um, Hanan, Aisha Anan uh, Buhari, that's the daughter of the president, went to Bauchi on Thursday on the invitation of the Emir of Bauchi okay. for the, the, the Doba Festival. I think it's a very big festival. It is in the north. So she recently graduated with a first class degree wow. from a university in right. the United Kingdom mm -hmm. in photography. Fantastic. So she was invited to come and take photographs. As so, a project or? Well, in our capacity okay. as the first daughter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> now, my problem, I don't have a problem with that. That's absolutely fine. But the problem I have is why do you have to use one of the presidential jets in the fleet of the president? Maybe that, that, will, is, that will what was available at the time. That is absolutely a level of corruption. It's a... Oh, don't you think that's taking it too far to call it no, it is a misuse of public asset. Do you know how many... Do, we are all paying for that, for that trip. Let, let, me, let me play the devil's advocate okay. in this case, okay? My father owns... My father is the president of Nigeria, and I have to go somewhere to cover a, sh a, pro um, a program or something. Maybe she was going there just to okay. um, also represent or do something in interest of Nigeria. You see, there's a, I'm sorry, there's a sequel mm. to this story. Okay. The government um, handlers, the media handlers, came out to say, justifying it, that she took permission from the presidency. And this even further nauseates me. They should have just kept quiet. For the fact that so it the was president authorized, is aware, it's even worse. It's even worse. I hear you. I that hear is not you. a justification because those fleet, those jets in the fleet of the president belong to every Nigerian. It's just held in trust for us. So why would she okay. use it in a capacity? It's just in a like private 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 private. I don't even think this should be such an issue. I mean, it's it like, is an issue. It's a, it's, <laughs> it's a level of corruption okay. coming from the president who promised a lot of things before he Absolutely. came in. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's why he's making the rounds. I understand. Fair enough. Totally. Okay, let me share what I had in this. It's a bit of a sad story. Oh. So, um, Iran has admitted mm -hmm. unintentionally shooting down the Ukrainian passenger jets mm -hmm. that claimed 176 passengers a couple of days ago on Wednesday. And for me, the, the point, problem here is it's unintentional. What does that even mean? How do you unintentionally shoot down a plane? A plane. You that, know, the, the Iranian military that came out. That is hocus a pocus. This morning that saying, is not true. I, I totally agree. There's something yes. you know funny going on here. Exactly. They say that they were in um, a sensitive military space. This, war, this, this, this crash happened a few minutes after the plane took off. So at what point did that plane venture into you know, sensitive at, military at space? At first, they actually but, even denied 
it initially. They did, but when 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 the investigations were ongoing and they started to look like okay, they're, oh, they're we gonna can't we can't hide them. under the carpet. Exactly, that's that's the whole thing. It's so hundred and seventy six lives, lives lost. So what yeah. happens to Somebody's the victims? Interested. That's the problem. Okay, it's happened. I mean, what they're dead. It's sad, you know. And this is unfortunately the life we live in. It's so sad. Do you, you know, know the quality? Made a statement in a group I'm in today. She said, "Okay, we're in delicate times." Um, heightened tensions, complex situations, and unlikely mistakes. This is the times that we're in. Exactly. Look at what's happening in South Africa as well. There's just all sorts of yes. tension all over the world. But there's anyway. a problem with South Africans, though. They don't want to be very, very, how do I call there's it? Civil. Right? Yes. They're, so, they're not civil at all. Why, but Why is what? that the case? I don't have a problem with the South Africans. Is that country? Come back to Nigeria. You don't have to. Then they should leave Nigeria as well. How many of them are here? They, they, we have lots of them. Then shop right yeah, and the <laughs> likes of them should <laughs> no, go. No, no, no. That's business. I wasn't talking about business. Oh, you but don't but have Nigerians do have businesses in South Africa. And then they should they should remove their business. Oh, uh, Olamide. Yeah. Hmm. That's, that's a topic for another day. Come back to Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to be there day. if they're hostile, then come back. <laughs> that's a topic for another day. That's a topic for another day. Mm -hmm. And we will now have our next guest come on the show, and we'd like to invite Ogachuku Anene, who joins us after the break.